<clears throat> okay, so we're going to have a look at the web assign for the power series. Um, some, we're going to look at some of these questions. They may not be the exact match of the questions you're going to be getting, but they should be similar. Uh, I'm going to start with number two. Number two is looking just for the radius of convergence. So that would be if you had a series that looks like this. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to use the, and usually on these, you're going to always use the ratio test. So we'll take the limit as n goes to infinity of the n plus first term. It's an absolute value, so you don't, you can ignore the negative one to the n. Uh, divide it by the nth term or multiply by the reciprocal. Trying to figure out when this is less than one, because that's what the ratio <clears throat> test says. That's when it converges. So just simplify. You have an x up top and a six on the bottom. The limit is n goes to infinity of x over six is x over six, the absolute value. Um, because n is the variable, x is really a <clears throat> it's not changing because n is going to infinity. So that's your limit. I'm going to multiply by 6. And there you go. The radius of convergence is 6. The center of this uh, power series is 0. So that's like x minus 0. So there you go. Let's jump to question number 4. Uh, now we need to look at the interval of convergence um, and also make sure we test the endpoints. So we're going to do the same thing with this, apply the ratio test. So we have x to the n plus first over 7 to the n plus first times 7 to the n over x to the n. Find out when that's less than 0. So we're going to go ahead and simplify. x up top, 7 on the bottom. Find out, oh, find out when that's less than 1, my mistake. Um, so this limit is exactly equal to x over 7. Multiply by 7. So the center is zero, so, and the radius is seven, so we're ranging from negative seven to seven. Now we have to figure it out, do we include the endpoints or not? So the left endpoint is x equals negative seven. So when we plug it into our series, we'll get negative one to the end. Now, that's an n term test tells you that that goes between negative 1 and 1. It doesn't never hit 0, so that's a diverge. The right end point is very similar, except we're doing positive 7. So this is just the summation of 1. And by the nth term test, that also diverges. So we do not include the left end point, and we do not include the right end point. We'll jump now to question number six. Interval convergence of this power series. So take the limit as n goes to infinity of 5x to the n plus 1 over 2 times n plus 1 factorial. Multiply by the reciprocal. 2n factorial over 5x to the n. Uh, this factorial down here is 2n plus 1, or 2n plus 2, sorry, factorial. So that would get you on the bottom. We have a 2n factorial up here and a 2n plus 2 factorial down here, so we have to include those two terms from below. 
2m plus 1, 2m plus 2. Uh, on the top, we have a 5x because all those cancellations, and we need to figure out when this is less than 1. Well, the limit as n goes to infinity would make this 0. So this is always less than 1. Therefore, the interval of convergence is everything. It's always going to converge, no matter what x is. So negative infinity to positive infinity. Let's see, we'll try eight. The interval of convergence of this power series. So the limit as n goes to infinity of n plus one factorial. X minus eight to the n plus one, six to the n plus one times The reciprocal simplify if I'm plus one up top we have an X minus eight up top and we have a six on the bottom so this limit as n goes to infinity is going to go to infinity so this will never converge unless x equals 8, which would make it 0. So this only converges for x equals 8. If x isn't 8, this limit will always go to infinity. So the only thing that would make this less than 1 is if it were 0. In other words, if x was 8. We'll do one more here. Um, question number 9 looks pretty good. Uh, this is the same thing. We're going to take the ratio test for this. X minus 5 to the M plus first divided by M plus 1 times 8 to the M plus 1 multiplied by the reciprocal and 8 to the N over X minus 5 to the N. And this will simplify into x minus 5 up top. And then we have an m plus 1 on the bottom. An 8 on the, let's do this, 8 on the bottom. An n plus 1. And also we have that n up top. So this one's a little interesting. If you take the limit as n goes to infinity, this limit, n over n plus 1, is just going to be 1. So we're going to be left with x minus 5 over 8 is less than 1. <clears throat> In other words, x minus 5, the absolute value, is less than 8. So we have a centering point uh, for this at 5, and we're ranging 8 to the left and 8 to the right of it. So we have an interval of negative 3 to 13. Now we have to check the endpoints. So the left endpoint, which is negative 3, can be checked like this. So just plug it into the original series. Negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. So that's the series we're looking at to see if it converges or diverges. Um, so negative 8 to the n is negative 1 to the n times 8 to the n. So we you could write it like this. Because 8 is negative 1 times 8. It'd be negative 1 to the n times 8 to the n. Which...
cancels with this a to the n on the bottom, and negative one to the n plus one times negative one to the n, um, those are gonna alternate between negative one and positive one, but they're always different because they're one term off. So that will always be a negative one. So this would be negative one over n at all times. Well, negative 1 over n, that's a harmonic series or a p series of uh, p equals 1, so that diverges. Therefore, we do not include that left endpoint. So now we're going to try the right endpoint, which was 13. You get negative 1 to the n plus 1 times, now this would be positive 8 to the n over n times a to the n. So it looks very similar to what just happened. However, this is now a alternating series. And by the alternating series test, um, since one over n is the limit is going to be zero, and 1 over n plus 1 is always less than 1 over n, by the alternating series test, this series converges, so at the right end point, it would converge. So that's that. Um, good luck on the rest of the problems. Um, hopefully, they're, they're all pretty similar. Uh, you can see there's a heavy dose of the ratio test, but have fun with them.